it's Chris here with another review. Today we're in Seoul, the capital of South Korea. And I can't wait to show you the today's hotel. We're actually gonna check out the Park Heights Seoul. I can't wait to see how it is inside. So let's go. Right, so let me show you where in Seoul actually the hotel is and what you can see around it. The hotel itself actually is here and I'm doing this in a screenshot because I have no idea how to do it otherwise. Uh, don't judge. The hotel, the Park Hyatt, is in the middle of Gangnam. This is this big thingy here where you have a lot of like uh, uh, nice restaurants and big towers. It's very modern, a lot of, lot of high-rise buildings. Then on the other side of the river actually you have more of the the castle, you have the Bukchon village, you have the um, end tower on top of this little hill here and then over to the side, I believe it's somewhere over here, this is Hongdae, this is a lot more uh, young area with a lot of universities, it does a lot of students around. So once you arrive at the, I believe, 27th floor, you can already see a bit the style that the park hide is going for fairly modern but always a very timeless design approach which I personally really like and you also get these stunning views and especially in the evening it looks really nice. Okay, besides the actual hallways looking really nice and having some art pieces and whatnot, one thing that's a bit annoying is you actually have to go up to the 24th floor to the reception on one elevator and then go down all the way to the ground floor to actually get out of the hotel. Yeah. All right, so here we are in the room. Let's have a look around and see what you actually get for your money. All right, so we definitely have one of the more odd floor plans of the rooms. When you actually look at the map, there's a very different kind of cuts and, and floor plans and configurations. You can see that it's kind of a triangle room, quite unusual for a hotel room, but uh, if you come and look around, this general ambiance is really beautiful. You have a lot of these bright wooden tones. You have, of course, the uh, floor to ceiling windows. So it feels super bright and natural. In regards to the view, this is also quite unobstructed. Maybe not the nicest view, but also today we have not the nicest weather. So I think that that adds to the, a bit to the depressing view. But overall, this is quite nice, I think. Then, of course, big bed. I heard that the mattresses here are super hard, so yeah, yeah they're not great, but they, they're okay, they're okay, so it's not too bad. Anyway, what else do we have? A little bit of a seating area, you get two random <laughs> oranges, okay, big TV, that one is quite nice. You of course have your standards, like your, your uh, water, you have your Nespresso machine. What I also like is that actually the storage is quite big, like you can, you can open these um, you can open this wardrobe and you really have a lot of space to store all of your stuff. I always like to have storage. It helps keep the room a little bit more organized. You can also see here on the right side, there's a window towards the bath and we'll have a look at that in a second. But you actually have a chance to um, have the bath with actually this really nice view. And I imagine in the evening especially, this must really look nice. So let's have a look at the bathroom. So far I also like the colors. You have this kind of more like golden warm tones, which is pretty nice. The cutest little <laughs> fire extinguisher. I like this. I've never seen such a tiny one. Very cute. And then when we come here all the way to the bathroom, this is also really nice. It's still very bright. You have this massive mirror here and just one sink, not two, but Overall, it's, it's really pretty. And as mentioned, you can see here for the shower and the bathtub, you really have a nice view. You might have to check with the blinds to get a bit more privacy, of course, while you're showering. But overall, I think this is really pretty. And some, some small element that I really like is, for one, of course, for Park Hyde, you always have the Le Labo brand of uh, amenities, which are fantastic. But also, it's really pretty with this stone where you have the, the elements, uh, these, these like um, armatures kind of cut in. This is really cool, I love this. 
this kind of mix of different materials and, and patterns and textures is really nice. There's also a tiny little TV screen actually that you can watch from the, from the bathtub. So I guess thumbs up for that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I have to say it's a very pretty room. It's not the biggest, definitely, but so far I'm quite happy, especially compared to some of the other properties we've seen. So overall, thumbs up. So besides the interesting room or at least interesting layout, but a really nice room, let's talk a bit about breakfast and some of the other amenities. And I have to say this was also really nice. This is on the second floor, so you have a bit of a street level. Uh, this is an Italian restaurant and I have to say that the variety is not super big but the quality feels very good and I feel like that's a kind of a Park Heights staple which is that you don't get a lot of variety but what they offer is really nice and you can also order a lot. You can have freshly made juices which were really good. You could also order off the menu let's say if you just want the watermelon juice or your egg prepared in a certain way they would accommodate that. Besides that, as you can see here, they of course also have a lot of Korean dishes, although I personally usually opt for the sweeter, uh, I guess, a more, more general uh, breakfast approach here. But it was, it was really fantastic, I have to say. Um, the pastries as well, there was nothing dry. And for me, the croissant is always kind of the, the benchmark for a good breakfast. If the croissant is not too dry, then that's a very good sign. And it wasn't, of course. So besides that, you have a couple other amenities. You can see here up on around the 27th, 28th floor, you also have a gym and a pool. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to um, film there much, but just for you to have a look here, this is actually the gym. And I have to say the view is incredible. Uh, I'm not much of a gym guy, but I think there's a good selection of stuff. And then this is the pool. And unfortunately, they asked me to please not film. So I can't really show you there, so I just, pulled the two photos here from the website. The gym looks incredible. It's small, but it has everything you need. The pool, on the other hand, it definitely is very small, as you could see here, but you will probably not go there because of the pool itself, the experience, but rather for this incredible view that you can have while using it. So I think it's worth trying it out if you have the chance. All right, our bags are packed. We're at the end of our stay. So over Park Heights, so for $350, I think you're getting excellent and refined experience here. I can really recommend it. We had a fantastic time here. So if you have the chance, definitely a good place to stay, especially if you're in the Hyatt loyalty uh, program uh, uh, realm, then of course that is a no brainer here. So that's it from our side and I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.